what is going on everybody it's me roku here with a hell divers 2 video in this one i'm going to show you how to do Mission missions on the automaton front on hell dive difficulty solo now before i get into um get me out of this before i get into the actual video in terms of what weapons you should use what strategies you should use and obviously the actual mission itself where i do like a walkthrough i want to make one point very clear and that is that the hell dive missions like, they're quite difficult, but if you get this one lesson through your head, then you're going to succeed way more than you fail. And that lesson is, you no longer have the liberty, or the luxury rather, to sit in one location and fight until you win. Okay? You do this against bugs or on lower difficulty automaton missions where you can't just sit in an objective area and just fight until no more of them come around. You can't do that anymore because the bot drops get so, like, crowded. That unless you get a lucky strategy use or two, you're basically just going to get killed multiple times. So our main play style is we run to an objective, clear it out, and then leave. And when I say clear it, I mean do the actual objective itself. Like get the fabricator or fabricator or destroy the airbase, whatever the case may be. And then we leave after doing that. So with that in mind, right, I recommend getting an explosive support weapon like a recoilless rifle or a spear, but it's very inconsistent. The new Quasar Cannon is quite useful too. Anything that can destroy buildings, essentially. Now, if you really like your rail cannon or whatever, right, your rail gun, you could pair it up with an expendable anti-tank, but eh, you, you're taking up two slots of your stratagems for missions where you usually only have three to begin with, right? Because on health dive difficulty, you most of the time just have three slots to work with, right? If you have the extra fourth slot, you can just use it on like, um, like a shield generated backpack. But the two remaining slots have to essentially always go to 500 kg and also your laser. These things are very nice because they can essentially do objectives on their own much, much faster, right? If it's anything to do with destroying buildings, creatures, whatever, these two things have got your back, okay? Also get the uh, hangar upgrades to get that second 500 kg bomb in. It's very much useful. Let's get into the weapons and armor. So for our weapons, right, for your primary, you're mostly looking at things that can kind of take out, take the bots out at a decent distance, right? So your, your Liberated Penetrator is a great option. It can make um, mincemeat out of a lot of the more annoying bots, like your Devastators and your Machine Gun guys, right? Like the, the Shield Machine Gun guys, I don't know what the name is. I don't know what the name is, but, you know, it can do a lot of good work, right? The Scope on it is also one of like the better ones in the game, in my opinion. The sickle is quite good. It's very much useful for just mowing down bots. It does take a bit of a time to just wind up, but once it does wind up, it is pretty good. The Scorcher is unique in that it's the only weapon that can kill the Strider. So it can be useful from that perspective, which is I just need this one guy killed. Um, I'm going to go for the Penetrator here, just so that I can go for better shots at a distance. For your grenades, it depends on how much you use grenades personally. If you're more so like a combat grenade user in that just toss them at the enemy, you should go for the impact because this can make mince meat out of a lot of the bots, including tanks, right? Um, the smokes and the, the shot grenades are nice too, but you need something that can also take out the fabricator nests. And because that's my purpose, I mean, that's my main goal doing the objective, I mainly go for just the explosive to just toss it into the flap and run. Secondary doesn't really matter. Right? And one more thing, do not take shotguns. <laughs> shotguns are not usable at all, man. Like, there's like a rocket devastator somewhere. You can't do anything against it unless you have like a, a support weapon to make up for the lack of range. Okay, let's get to it. One more thing, right? In the options, you want to turn on the night mode in the sounds and also increase your vertical FOV, right? Now, we're on this sort of map here, and straight out of the bat, you want to just think about how you're going to approach the mission, all right? So, we got extraction here. So, what ideally you want our sort of run to end at where the extraction is, right? Um, let me think. I think somewhere around here would be ideal, so we can clear these out, right? If it is, like, an objective, go like this, and then return back here. So, this corner or this corner right here should be ideal let's look at the effects here okay one less stratagem slot ion storms are not fun and orbital fluctuations okay so <laughs> our stratagems are essentially just uh hamstrung we're going for the stratagem booster most of the time because 
you really need to be able to just run a lot. You're, you're most of the time just sprinting from place to place when you're solo. I think that could be useful also is the UAV recon booster, but if you like Raider that much, just go for the scout armor. I myself love the plot armor from the Liberator or whatever the armor is called. It's just the one you get from the DLC. I've used it since the start and I don't plan on using anything else anytime soon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just pray that we don't drop into like boss. <laughs> like sometimes just like the map just lies and you straight up just dome some bots and then they immediately call drops. See here, burst the semi. Off, oh, right. Sending down support weapon. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, let's go do that nest first. East, two hundred meters. Okay, good. We got our first objective there. Objective Can we ping it? North. Good. That's the radar. Objective canceled. Out. Good. Perfect. What is that? Objective located. Northwest. That's just the control tower. I'm going to try to do this fabricator from here. Right? Hit it and then go hit this one. And then come back when the aggro has died out. That's a patrol. That's heading over here. All right. That kind of puts a pickle in our whole plan. There's also that uh, turret there, but it's kind of out of the way. It's like here. So we should be able to avoid it. Let's get this nest first. Nice. To help with the aiming, you want to aim at like the lower part of the window. That destroys the... Like this, like there's the flap and then there's like the inside of the fabricator. We want to hit the inside essentially. And the patrol is none the wiser. They got a tank there. Oh, no. I'm going to get this one, though. Okay. Seems there's just one fabricator, so I'm going to go like this. So I can get, like, a direct shot at it. Let's pick up some ammo, too. Why not? We're getting harassed here. Waste time. Okay. I might just hell bomb the research station. If there's like bots on it. Nope. Okay. Seems our plans changed then. I'm just gonna go like this. Cause they did drop that tank there. And I wanted to basically like walk away a bit before I can get anything done over there. Because there are no bots, we can just get the hell bomb out. Let's get these samples. By the way, when you're solo, you don't really have like the time to run around looking for samples. So if you're on a search for samples, you're not running solo, man. <laughs> this is no time, dog. Well, we'll see that by the end of this little gameplay session. I thought it was, oh, there's two of them, okay. I think I might have to get closer. Let's get this one from here anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's try to dink that one. Strider. Get the haircut here. Say cheese. Might as well. <laughs> Is that a devastator? 
Okay. I don't have the range for this. Let's just get a resupply in. Not good to get shot like that. to just spam not good all right we gotta just leave quickly my life for super earth Seriously, they call the bot drop. Alright, I'm just gonna try to leave. Just toss a grenade here. Ah, I wanted to get that. There we go. I should kill some of them at least. Oh no, I'm not, I'm not dealing with these guys. Got my leg again. Yeah, that's what I mean when I say you can't just sit still in one location and fight. The bot drops get insane. What's it with these guys and just going for my legs? Not the best DPS option. <laughs> Reloaded already! God, it's like. <laughs> God. Oh my god! Alright, um. I kinda just wanna die at this point so that I can get my stuff back. Alright, let's just get shot. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna drop on top of the mountain because then we get lasered. I'm not lasered. Rocketed. Can you just pick this up? Okay. Of course. Bags empty. <laughs> that was a close one. Taking the creek back, boys. Why am I even fighting here? At least we didn't lose too many respawns. Can I get some ammo here before I head for that nest? Yes, I can. There we go. That deals with those bozos. Say cheese. Thanks for standing still. Okay. You might be better served by the sickle here <laughs> than the penetrator. After all that has happened. You did not see me. There we go. Let's dip. They get a resupply this? Yes, I do. I'll just toss it ahead. Flip 
flip that revolver for me, boy. One. Two for the camera. God. <laughs> there we go. If this one is a bit inconvenient, we can just uh, laser it. Yeah, we already wasted enough time. Like 10 minutes on just these three is not good. Yeah, I'm just gonna laser this. We're behind on time, so we gotta make up for it. Right. Alright, I hate you. Let's go all the way around like this. Seems we don't have much of a choice. Okay. There's another one left still. Oh yeah, we gotta get that. I just got a headshot. Okay. That there is why armor is a scam. There are more clips on this, yep. Unfortunately, I have to go all the way around back just to do the... Nest. I could just toss an eagle. Call it a day. Ooh, let's tank. Perfect. Alright, we're out of here. That killed the tank as well. Perfect. I should have gone the sickle or the scorcher. Hmm. Why well, do I need the eagle for that? I think I'll get okay, it to rearm. I can handle this space. It's only three minutes too. Let's go around these bozos right here. Oh, the map isn't blocked. It kind of is by my webcam. Thankfully, we haven't been north, so let me just uh, resize it a bit. <laughs> Sorry? Is that good enough? Uh... Yeah, sorry for doing this a bit, like, live. <laughs> Don't usually record headlighters to gameplay. Morning, you are the Shut up, bro. Area. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so 27 minutes, and we're done with a third of the mission. That's basically right on schedule, if you think about it. You do the math, you crunch the numbers. Alright. Should I ambush this patrol here? Kind of want to. Move quick. Main objective nearby. Seriously? For prosperity. That stuff so far. Kill them before they can see us. There's three of them there. Can get a line of sight on three of them, I should be able to take them out. No, no, no. This is not good. Alright, thankfully they didn't call bot drops. But that was almost disastrous. If they did call, that would have been it. 
Oh no, you don't. Good enough. Well, we'll find out. Help armor! Clear the area! I'm gonna break the position of this area. Let's get a resupply in here. Deploying equipment package. Yeah, I had a feeling that would be enough. Uh. I just had my eagle resupply, so I don't want to like waste it on this. There's no rush to get out of here. L bomb request approved. Deploying now. Is there a way I can angle it? If I, I guess if I put the hell bomb like right here, I can get all three. Didn't think much of the alignment then. There we go. Hell bomb armed. Clear the all area. Right. Let's get to the next spot. Nest. I'm gonna go around here. I wanted to go for that lone bot here, but there's one coming in here too. And when there's one coming, there's more than one coming. So I have to aggro, I have to aggro all of them. Hmm. Still so much to do. Alright, this one's gonna be a bit tough. Um, how many turrets are there? Two. Okay. Let's get a nice little distance here and just try to snipe him. Smoking, good. That's one down. Uh oh. Perhaps I should get the shot for that. Oh, where's the other one? There we go. You know. Better line of sight. Smoking. Hit confirmed. Oh, we're getting swarmed. Let's take cover. Okay. Just scratch that. Oh my god. We got air shot, dog. Holy. Right. Oh, okay. This is not the angle I would have chosen. I don't have the, the laser. All right. Come on, laser, laser, laser. There you go. That's going to block it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There's a tank there too. All right, I need to 500 kg of the tank so that the laser doesn't get caught up on the trash. Man, RNG, huh? Mm. So how's your guys today? Eventful, I hope. I get the quasar here too. I know. At this point, we're gonna be stuck behind this rock for a while. And the tanks are looking at us. And they're coming here, actually. So that's... That. Is that a good proximity? Yes, it is. Not. Well, I got one of them, at least. While I'm dealing with this bozo, we can... Are you serious? These guys just sneak up on you. And this is the thing I did not want! Laser wasting his time with a tank. And it's actually stuck there. Wonderful. I almost like juked into that one. Alright, we got time. Let's just do this quickly. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Throwing grenade! 
Okay. I'm dead here. I don't have stems! Alright. <laughs> We're basically praying to the gods that we don't get artillery here. Gotta make sure I don't take any fall damage. Uh. Alright. I got your number. I got your number. Okay. I want to get like a like a sure shot here off. All right, he just called a block drop. And we're out. see it. I guess I can. <sighs> Should get one of it at least. Here comes the cavalry. That's useful. Alright, we're in a bit of a pickle here. He's got one of them. Okay. Progress. <laughs> Seriously? That that was. This does want to shut the end here, right? Yep. Hmm. I want to save a grenade here. Stop groaning, bro. Okay. We're not doing too well in terms of schedule, that's for sure. Once we get to that uh, jammer, things are going to get quite tough. So we might as well just go all out with these two and then just struggle through whatever we can here. Is there anything on the right side of this bank? <laughs> As long as I get that, the mission is just a success. So that's like the minimum that I must accomplish. Yeah, I am not looking forward to taking on that Tomatom base. It's gonna be rough. What have we got left? So lasers in three minutes, but it's my last one, but I got two eagles. I'll try to save the laser for the actual objective. If I can just snipe these automaton nests, that'd be perfect. Let's see if there are any turrets. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Not something I'm going to be dealing with, that's for sure. Okay, no turrets in sight. And we have our eagles in. Thank you. Oh, right, there, we are. there we are. There we are. There we are. Okay, let's get like a good distance going. I think if I can go like on the pond, I can shoot it without taking, without getting aggro. I think I've way too far. Let's just play around with our head. This ain't good. Seems our original position was better. Smoking. Got another bot drop in. Don't tell me it sees me. 
Okay, just shot is shot. Never mind. Come on. That wasn't good. It's gonna be quite tough for me to pick up my cannon now without dying. Tell me it's looking somewhere else. Thank you. Sure, man. Throwing grenade. Might as well. Injury. What injury? Yeah, I'm at the height to get his head, and that's a tank over there. Thank you. All right. Just gonna cut this battle short and just fire my KGM. Let's get some resupply in. That did it. Good. Alright, let's get this resupply and then get back on the offensive. I have one reinforce left, so I'm not too like afraid here to get killed again. But it wouldn't be good. Because getting out of one reinforce is hell. Like, there's so much random things that can kill you in this game. Can I make it from here? Don't need to. I'll just walk up. Okay, let's use the Rockstar Advantage. That didn't get it. Wonderful. This should be it. Are you serious? Fire in the hole! I thought that was the way to do it. <laughs> huh? Oh. Could you, like, put a lid in it, dog? Throw my resupply again. Around that rock, I think. Yep, near the tank. Need more nades. Ion storm. It's fine. I do know that we have to go like straight north. Maybe a bit like a northwest-ish to get that small nest going first. Yep. We're really cutting it close with the time. I'm afraid what we'll have to do is essentially just run out the clock while doing the last missions and just arrive at the extraction when the pelican is already there, waiting. Like, I kind of know how the flow of these games go. And while we have taken out basically everything aside from the main mission that takes a lot of time, like the, the stratagem jammer really slows things down. There's a really good likelihood to basically turn into like a, a brawl. Let's get a good angle on this. Do it and leave. Oh no, you don't. Yes, he does. We vanish into the tree. All right, this one's a control one, so I can't just solo it with a laser. But it should be a help. Where's your buddy? You will never destroy our way of life! Okay, not doing too badly. Gotta take them out as soon as they see us. That way we're kind of like still in stealth. Sort of. 
Like, they don't know we're around, but they don't know where we are, so they won't be calling the bot drops. We gotta get this done quickly. Throwing grenade. Mission at ten minutes remaining. Objective critical. Okay, I hope. Objective critical strategy. <laughs> oh my God! It dropped on top of me. I thought I got it to like drop the other way. Reporting to the front. God. Of course. Objective critical strategy available. If that bounced me into this and that killed me, I would be so <laughs> angry. <laughs> Seems that this is just barely in the artillery range. Gotta be super cautious here. Alright, uh, let's just. Uh, where, where, where? Okay. Right here. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Alright, let's do a resupply before we head into the artillery range because we'll have to just run, run, run. And we don't even have like um, like a laser to just toss at it and have it. Basically, take care of it. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to run around this group right here. Eight minutes. That's not. That's not good. And we're done with the mission technically. So even if we just do get killed, we are solo diving. We're solo succeeding a hell dive mission. But I want to get these little four bundles of love. Thank you, Control. We gotta get the, the artillery first. Try to get, like, do it stealthily. Where is the, is this the anti? Is I, I can't believe this is the Tagging location. Never mind. artillery base. It is, okay. That's one. Enemy tactical asset within threat range. Oh, a whole lot of them. How funny would it be if, if that didn't kill it? I just turned around and it just dinked me on the head. Alright. Yeah, we don't even, like... Because of the jammer, we can't, like, get a hell bomb in. That's why having an explosive support weapon is just useful. Okay. Can't do that quickly. No, I kind of just want to go for the jammer because I can just use an eagle to take care of that. Whereas if I go for it and then the jammer, I'm basically dragging the the automatons from it to me. Okay, that's three on here. And then one spawner. Enemy tactical asset within range. Okay, one, two, three. Uh. Like I'm trying to be really careful here, because if I get a bot drop on a jammer, it's it's, it's game over. Okay, I hope this blows up the the jammer. Uh, 
Fingers crossed. Excellent! 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 Okay. Let's try to get these guys without causing a ruckus. Extraction is available. <laughs> this, this, this son of a... He knew what he was doing, bro. He five knew! <laughs> Just immediately calls a bot drop? Man. <laughs> like that's the, the thing I miss about doing lower difficulty missions is just like the bots don't immediately get the drops in. Holy, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh... Nice. Okay, that's that done. The radio, and then we're finished. I hope the radar station doesn't suddenly show me an objective that I missed, because that'd be quite annoyed. Because then, then I'd be compelled to just go and do that in four minutes. It's probably going to be around here, isn't it? Tactical asset yeah. near your location. Seems most of them were like... There's only two, but that rocket devastator can't just destroy me, so I'm going to be careful. I think it's safer for me to kill the small one first because it can call a supply, um, the boys. And then just melt him. Good. Alright. Man, I'm on the cusp of victory, but I'm trying not to, like, I kind of give up because <laughs> no matter how one the situation is against the automatons, it can and it will get messed up by a, like a rocket or something one-shotting you. Hmm. A lot of blood and oil on us. Or oh, that's just blood. Okay. What's that explosion? Nothing that concerns us. By the way, you can do the radar solo because the second it gets to the right spot, it'll make that sound that you just heard if you basically go back like, you know? Seriously. Uh. There's a patrol coming over here, so I hope... Oh, it was already in the spot. Okay, and I just moved it out of it. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, we did everything good. Okay, let's get out of dodge. Please give me a good extraction. Did they see me? Okay, it just turned on like the like the music change theme. Oh, oh man. <clears throat> yeah, the, the samples are not looking too good. That's just how it do we do like that. Mm. Oh, the, the extraction zone is not the best. The best one is like the one that's like the mountain one where it just funnels all the bugs slash robots to it. This one's a bit rough because it's like a wide open area so I can get somewhat easily swarmed but we're chilling all right two minutes that's perfect sometimes you get like four and that's just messed up all right what i'm gonna do is just kind of be stealthy here if we see a patrol we're only gonna fight them if we're 1000 percent sure that they will walk right in the middle here right if they're not gonna do that if they're just passing by we're leaving them alone okay so no patrols in sight so we're good for the next 30 seconds or so right Like, a patrol moves relatively slowly, so if we find them here, we're kind of good for half a minute until we have to fight them. Okay. <clears throat> this was kind of me also trying out the Liberator to see if, if it can be brought along on these missions, because I've just brought another Scorcher. And it honestly very much can, because... Because it's like, you can just spam it, right? 
there is that plan B of if I miss my shot, I could just spam my left click and just kill whatever's in my way, right? And because of that, it kind of gives you more of a margin of error than like a diligence say, right? And so it basically let me just crouch into a base, just one shot all the basic goons as soon as they saw me so that I could essentially just be in stealth while killing the bots, right? I think that like the number one thing to do when you deal with a nest is to just use the nest to your advantage. If it's like a wide open one with just walls, that kind of sucks. Or if it's like in a mountain or whatever with bridges and stuff, you can actually use the walls to just funnel the automatons in or use the walls to stay in cover while remaining in sort of pseudo stealth, I guess. Mm. In any case, this is the end of this mission. Helldiver difficulty on the creek. <laughs> We're taking the creek back with this one, boys. What are you shooting at, bro? Yes, I hate local biology as well. <clears throat> All right. Perfect. Yeah, you really run down the clock when you're soloing. Legit, no time to go sample hunting unless like the the super sample just spawns and you're like on your way already. But the thing is, I will add, the rarer samples are actually, there's like an overabundance when you play the harder missions. I actually find myself needing the, the common samples. Everything is done, Helldivers extracted. Nice, that's a lot of XP. Come on, outstanding patriotism. Woo! Awesome. Let's look at our post-game thing and then... Feel good about ourselves <laughs> a bit more. Excellent. I mean, there's no one to compare with, so it doesn't look that impressive. But I'd say that is pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so in terms of just post-game notes, right? Um, I'd say we did that pretty, like, as well as we could have. What I did that's like a mistake was I was a bit hesitant to use my stratagems earlier on. Like, the first sort of base that we got into, we died a few more times. If I just used, like, a laser or an eagle, that would have been a lot more easy. Given that the end of our journey was just a no stratagem zone anyway, I should have done that. Aside from that, I think we played it out like pretty nicely, right? And there's one thing I also just want to comment on, right? For specific hell dive difficulty missions when you're solo, or if you're just with a group, and it's just luck, right? I think we could just tell multiple points in that mission. Although we got unlucky with some things, we also did get lucky, like we got only the two minute um, timer, right? Um, some of the, I guess, positioning, some of the bases were nice, that were methodical for us to fight through it. But we also had a bunch of advantages, and what I mean to say is that when you're playing on this difficulty, you want to essentially put yourself in a position where you can make most of when you do get lucky, okay? When that, like, a t like when that stratagem thing is near the fabricator, you want to basically put yourself in a position where you can actually use that, right? If you were just outside that, for example, the detector turret, right, for, or the the jammer, but just outside it, constantly fighting whatever is out there. I mean, I, I had cleared it out, but if I went in loud, fought everything, got some drops in there that I would have never found out that the fabricator is right next to the actual thing I had to destroy, right? So. It's literally just one thing is, like, if I just had to summarize what you should do for this difficulty. One, get in and get out. Two, it's okay to die, but it's not okay to die the same way over and over again, right? Three, try your best to collect as much information as you can before you engage so you can use the environment and also the RNG to your advantage, 
right? Aside from that, I think the gameplay mostly speaks for itself. If you guys have any questions specifically, let me know in the comments below. But I'd say that is that for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.